Terranalius is a Latin term meaning land belonging to no one, used as a justification to possess land in the European age of imperialism. It gave people rights to claim land that was seen as uninhabited and, in essence, meant finders keepers. When British Captain James Cook occupied Australia in 1770, this legal term was used to justify the denial of the natives' connection to the land. The land was taken and occupied as Crown land in the name of the King of Great Britain. It was no longer the Indigenous people's rights to use the land as they please. Under international law, the land was now British. For many years after that, there remained a debate. Whose land was Australia? Is Terranalius a justification for taking another's land? Why did James Cook and his British occupiers feel that they had the right to take the land? These questions sparked many protests and fights for land rights between Indigenous and non-Indigenous across the country. The real change in the fight for land rights came with the case of Eddie Marbo. 212 years after Cook possessed the land for British gain, Eddie Marbo realised the lack of rights that he as a native of Australia had over his own land on Murray Island. Murray Island was considered a part of the state of Queensland's Crown land and Marbo and the Miram people who had a connection to the land for thousands of years before actually had no rights to build on, farm or use the land freely. This made Marbo angry and Eddie and four of his friends set out to fight for his people to be regarded as the legal owners of the land. He argued that Indigenous people had a true connection to this land and that Terranalius denied them of this. He struggled for 10 years to gain the right to his land. First, he filed a case against the state of Queensland, which he lost. He then, with the help of lawyers and others who believed he had a good case, went to the High Court of Australia and fought to nullify the principle of Terranalius altogether, arguing that Aboriginal people had a native title to their land. On 3rd of June 1992, the High Court judges upheld the claim and ruled that the lands of this continent were indeed not Terranalius. The new native title doctrine nullified Terranalius and corrected a wrong that was made many years before. In 1993, legislation for a native title act was passed that recognised and protected some people's connection with the land, validating this pre-existing relationship. This has enabled many Indigenous families and groups to prove that the land is theirs, giving them chances to claim native title. The outworking of land rights in Australia has not been very easy and clear cut since this act. There has been hundreds of claims of native title and thousands of negotiated agreements between Indigenous peoples for land rights. Undoing a mistake like a land claim is not easy when so many different people now consider a place their home.